Hey, Archaea here, and I'm very excited to uh, bring to you my new baby. His name is Kevin, or her name is Kevin. Doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl, its name is Kevin. All of my centipedes will be Kevin, because reasons. Um, I'll explain it in the description below, it's very dumb. But anyways, so I have acquired a Scolopendra subspinipes subspinipes, and it's my first ever centipede. Currently, currently Kevin is about maybe four and a half to five inches long, something like that. It's not like I busted out a ruler and measured it by any means. You don't want to touch these ones. Um, but I won't take up too much of your time with me because I know you guys want to see the critters. I'm going to show you Kevin, the new centipede, and I'm also going to include a little bit of cute footage from my other tarantulas as well, just in case you are interested in seeing something like that. But anyways, let's just jump right into the Scolopendra subspinipes subspinipes Kevin footage that I have. So we got it on an import and we got him in these little bags and I was very excited. This is one of the first times I've, I had seen him. Pulled him out and oh my goodness. He was a lot bigger than I thought he was gonna be, which is very exciting. Oh my goodness, just thinking about this moment. I was so happy, unbelievably happy. And then just opening that up and seeing him just kind of cautiously moving around. You can see my pig in the background, come check out what's going on. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do not recommend handling these guys at all, not in any way, shape or form. They have very potent venom. And uh, I'm not saying you're going to die, but it will be incredibly painful. And it's not unheard of for people to die from Scolopendra bites. One girl, the one reported death was by a seven year old girl who died 29 hours later. That sounds horrible. Could you imagine being alive for 29 hours in severe pain? No, thank you. So do not handle. They inject uh, a, a cocktail of venoms and whatnot, but most pronouncedly, not good at English, uh, the vast majority of it is basically, basically pure histamine. So when you think about an allergic response, the swelling, the itching, a lot of that. So here I am, putting him into his new home. It, it might look a little dry in there, I'm sorry. I had to up the brightness. I didn't want to be like shining a bunch of super bright lights on him because you know that would kind of suck and be kind of rude so i just kind of wanted to coax him out a little it's uh he's just kind of chilling in there i'm i'm being very 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 gentle so don't don't worry about that i i promise you i was being so gentle and very cautious because i've seen centipedes climb up uh tongs like that before absolutely and I would not want to get bit uh, for the reasons that I stated previously. It sounds horrible, absolutely horrible. So we're not gonna do that. Didn't want to bother him too much, but I also did want to get them out of the cup. I didn't necessarily want to leave it in overnight, which wouldn't be the end of the world. But I did kind of want to see him wander around a little. I know, a little selfish, but I was being very, 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 very gentle with Kevin, I promise. Oh, look at him go. Oh, he's so precious. Gosh, I love him so much. My baby. I don't think Kevin was really quite ready to leave the cup. It probably spent a few days in that cup. Poor little guy. You can see he's trying to crawl back over the soil that he did have and it kind of falls down on him, unfortunately. But of course, you know, he wasn't hurt or anything. He's just... He didn't know exactly what to do. They don't exactly have very good vision. And here he is exploring his new little home. I do keep it quite humid in there. I have a sphagnum pile up in the top corner, which I keep quite moist so that it produces a little bit of humidity. Cause you can see I have a screen top here. I made sure to get a big enough enclosure that even when Kevin is fully grown at about 20 centimeters or eight inches, he still will not be able to escape there. 
But I did give him a couple inches of soil so that he could dig around, and I am keeping it... Like, I'm not keeping it, like, wet, but I'm keeping it damp enough that it's appropriate. You can see him kind of looking around a little. And that is the last I've seen of Kevin. That That's it. I haven't seen him since, and it's been about two weeks, but he's still alive, so that's very exciting. Very happy about that. So, um, that is the footage that I have of Kevin. That's everything. He is still alive, though, even though I haven't seen him. I put in some food for him. I crushed the head of, uh, of a cricket, put it in, it disappeared. That's probably gonna be our relationship going forward and I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> if he wants to stay hidden, totally cool. As long as he's comfortable and happy, I'm just happy to know that he good, she good. Kev, Kev good, Kev good, good Kev? Yeah. So also every single day, it seems, I have to replace the water in his dish because he's always getting dirt in it, which is good. It means he's going out and exploring and digging and he's moving things around and he's having his way and I'm potentially gonna add more to it. I'm not exactly sure what, but I am fairly excited to find something else to do with it. Nothing too crazy. I know centipedes don't need a crazy environment at all by any means, but uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. Maybe one day I'll be lucky enough to get a feeding video. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see what goes, what happens going forward. Anyways, so here we have our Megaphobema mesomeles, uh, a, a female, which is very exciting. She's a decent size, maybe about four or so inches, maybe a little bit more. She's very beautiful. I'm, I'm really sorry it's dark. Um, at some point, I'll definitely, you know, get my shit together and <laughs> finally get good HD quality content with the bugs. But uh, Gigi really wanted to hold her for a second while we were transferring her over to her new enclosure because that was the cup we got her in. Uh, we obviously wanted to move her into something a little bit bigger and give her a hide and whatnot, but oh, look at her. They're very velvety. Oh, you can see there the, the silk coming out of her butt. You can see sort of like a line yeah, she, she, uh, she's very beautiful though, very gentle, big sweetheart, has never spazzed out on us, just sort of walked off his hand and stepped forward and then stayed right there for a few hours. There's one thing that uh, insects, well, invertebrates do, it's stay absolutely still. Yup, very pretty though, I love her. And then over here, we have um, a sling for a Zenitha species bright. Oh my goodness, this poor little guy. <laughs> he was just uh, sticking his little toes out. I feel like this guy does it a little bit more than, you can see his fangs coming out, grabbing there, he's chewing on it. And see, this is why you do not want screen lids with your tarantulas, because they will go and they will chew on it, just for fun, just to see what happens. The tarantulas definitely love to explore things with their fangs. And I, like I've never been bit in the six years or so that I've had tarantulas. I've never had the pleasure of being bit, which is good. But you can see he's, he loves sticking his little toes out there. I hope he's careful. But I just thought it was really cute. So I decided to film it and then show you guys. His little teeth, little, all his little fangs, his little chelicera moving around. You can see his vents on the bottom where he breathes from. On his abdomen, you see those like white patches, They're kind of shiny. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, tarantula anatomy is really neat. A lot of people probably don't even think about it, but they don't have lungs, really. They, they don't... Uh, Inverts don't have lungs. They don't breathe out of their mouths like a lot of mammals do, you know? They're very, very different and quite alien once you really get down to it. It's actually pretty fascinating. I'm quite obsessed with them. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, first contact. 
I, I had to. I couldn't not. <laughs> Wouldn't you want to? It was like an E.T. moment for me. Look at that adorable little guy. Aww. <laughs> He's just like, what was that? What on earth was that? I'm like, I've had enough of that. I don't like that. That's not good. And this here is a Parcellionides pruinosis, which is the powder orange isopod, pretty much. Um, they're a feeder species, but I, I got um, basically a video of the marsupium opening up and the little babies coming out. Pretty awesome. <sighs> yeah, so I love my inverts. Oh yeah, hey, sorry. I look a little different. It's 4.20 in the morning. Um, I got a little, um, dis well, interrupted when I was filming the first part. So hi, hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, so in, you know, in the video with the Porcelio, obviously he was holding him very carefully and it, it was really short because I didn't want him to hold it for too long. I didn't want to stress the little guy out. I know it's a feeder species, but like still. Um, I'd never seen a marsupium open up like that before on an isopod and it was very exciting. And I don't know if anybody else has footage quite like that, probably, but I need to look it up. Oh, I know what I'm doing tomorrow. But um, I don't know, I just thought it was really cool. And I guess I'll shove some more information down your throat. So isopods, like the little pill bugs, field lice, stuff like that, um, they're crustaceans on land that are marsupials because <laughs> they have a marsupium. They raise their babies in a little pouch, which is really cool. So they're land, so they're, they're marsupial land crustaceans. They're not insects. They're closely, well, more closely related to crabs than they are ants, you know? It's, it's really cool. I think they're neat. I think they're adorable. I, uh, I have several different species of isopods and I'll probably make videos on them too, especially um, my Expansis. Uh, I absolutely love my Expansis. They are amazing and they're doing so well. And uh, I'll try and bust out this camera for that. I just also don't like shining bright lights on my little guys. I'll figure something out. I'll work with the settings on here so that I'm not blinding them. Um, but then I can get good footage. I just, I have a Canon 80D and I, I did not go to photography school. So YouTube, hello, I'm <laughs> gonna be watching you a little bit more. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed the footage. I don't wanna take up too much of your time. Obviously you guys are here to see the bugs, not me. Oh, the inverts. Um, I'm gonna head out. I, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe, um, I would like to put more animal videos out. I have a lot currently. At the time of filming, I have about 70 tarantulas, the centipede, I've got a snake, I have a tortoise, I have three hairless cats, I have a pig and two quail. And there's two orb weavers that live in my windowsills, so like they matter. Maybe I'll do a feeding video with them because they're really, really cool. I'm a big fan of them. I've been keeping them alive for a while. I spray their web and I put food in for them and I watch them spin it up real quick. It's cool. If I can get footage, I'll definitely show you guys. Uh, it's just that the window is very bright, so it's hard to actually get good footage. Eyes can see stuff like that better than cameras. But yes, I'm gonna get out of your hair. Yes, if you would like to leave a like, maybe subscribe, I'll definitely be doing more videos like this, hopefully better quality. Um, and yeah. I stream on Twitch every Tuesday and Wednesday currently at 7 p.m. Eastern until 3 a.m. Uh, there's a Twitter, there's a Discord, which all of you guys are more than welcome to join. The pet tab, that we, the pet channel that we have, I like to drop pictures of the little guys whenever I get good new pictures. And if you follow my Instagram, then I do occasionally also post my guys there too. Little tarantulas and stuff. I gotta do more. I don't know, usually I get so caught up. I get so caught up in just like taking care of them, I forget to take out the camera and actually take pictures of them. So I'm sorry, I'm bad at this. But 
I'll try and make a point of it, especially when I move and I get a proper room set up for them. I'd like to get a good table with good lighting and everything. I'll get it all figured out, but for right now, you're just gonna have to deal with me being an amateur videographer. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.